In this video, we present the solution to question number nine from the practice exam number two for math 1060, in which case we're given the trigonometric substitution x equals four sine theta, and we're trying to rewrite the trigonometric expression sine of two theta over four using just the algebraic variable x like so. So the first thing to do is you wanna unwrap this trigonometric substitution here. If x equals four sine theta, that means sine theta is equal to x over four. And using this observation, we can then construct ourselves a right triangle for which we can use this, di this triangle diagram to help us understand the, the trigonometric ratios associated to angle theta right here. Because after all, if the sine ratio is x over four, where sine is opposite over hypotenuse, using the Pythagorean relationship, we get that the other side will be 16 minus x squared. Notice how there's all these 16 minus x squares in the denominator. Um, well, not just in the denominator, on the numerator, I should say. That's because of that observation right there. So now what do we do with this sine of 2 theta over 4? Well, this triangle is with, associated to the angle theta. We have to translate from 2 theta to theta. Um, and so we're going to do that, in this case, using the double angle identity for sine. So the double angle identity for sine is 2 sine theta, cosine theta. This is still over 4. So we see that 2 goes into 4 two times, like so. Uh, so we have a factor of 1 half sitting out in front. Sine, which we already know is x over 4. We could, re we could find that out again from the triangle. We already knew that. Cosine of theta, we have to take the adjacent side over the hypotenuse like so. And so we're going to get the square root of 16 minus x squared over 4. And so multiplying things together, we have x times the square root of 16 minus x squared. We get 4 times 4, which is 16 times 2 is 32. And so we see the correct response is going to equal choice E. And I highly recommend on these questions that you do draw a right triangle. Actually draw it on the page. Students who draw these diagrams are going to be much more successful than those who try to work it alone.